everyone! So today I'm going to go over debt management plans. I'll explain what they are and how they work, and then I'll go ahead and debunk a couple of myths I've seen pop up around the internet. So, ready to get started? Let's do this! So I'm a big fan of debt management plans because of my own experience using them. Long story short, even though I only had one outstanding credit card, I had all sorts of debt collectors coming after me. They sent me letters and called my phone at all hours of the night and on holidays and weekends, and they were absolutely relentless. But once my credit card company accepted the contract with my DMP provider, the debt collectors stopped calling me. And even if they tried, I could tell them, hey, I have someone managing my debt now and I've already signed a contract with my creditor. Having a DMP allowed me to pay off my credit card in a very stress-free environment. And I ended up paying off my credit card a couple years earlier than scheduled. All right, so what are debt management plans and how do they work? Debt management plans are essentially a contract that a credit counseling agency arranges with your creditors. Typically, they will negotiate a lower interest rate to make it easier for you to pay off your principal amount. Once all parties have accepted your debt mansion plan, you pay one monthly bill to your credit counselor. This includes a small fee for them to process the plan for you. Once they receive the money, then they distribute the funds to your creditors. All right, so a couple things to note. First, you only want to use a nonprofit credit counseling agency. Please stay away from for-profit credit scammers. For a list of nonprofit agencies, go ahead and check the description box below. Second, debt management plans are only for unsecured debts, like credit cards or personal loans. If you have student loans or medical bills or a mortgage to pay off, unfortunately, a debt management plan cannot help you. But you should probably still talk to a credit counselor to see what options you have available to you. Also, once you sign that DMP, you are no longer allowed to use credit cards. If they find out that you're using a credit card, your DMP will get canceled. And another thing, you are not allowed to miss payments. And this is something that they take very seriously. So if you feel like you're going to have trouble making your payments, please talk to your credit counselors ahead of time and find a plan that's flexible and works for your budget. All right, so let's debunk a couple of myths. First one, a debt management plan will ruin your credit. I don't know where this came from and I don't know why people keep circulating this because debt mention plans have absolutely no impact on your credit score. When you look at the five components that make up your FICO score, they are payment history, length of credit history, amounts owed, new credit, and types of credit getting used. Whether or not a third party is handling your debt has nothing to do with your credit score. Now, there will be a note on your credit statement that a third party is handling your debt, and whether or not this affects you really depends on your situation. For me, I was able to sign a lease on three different apartments while still on my DMP. And don't worry, this isn't like Section 8 housing. I live in nice neighborhoods. Another myth, debt management plans will help you pay less than what you originally owed. This is more of a misunderstanding than a myth. If you are paying less, than what you originally owed, that is debt settlement. Debt settlement and debt management are two totally different things. And last myth, a debt management plan can work for everyone. And unfortunately, the statistics show that this is not true. For example, the National Foundation for Credit Counseling reported this year that for everyone that enrolled in their plans in 2010, 42% of those people had completed their plans and 10% of those people were still paying them off. This means that for whatever reason, 48 of those people did not make it. This is why I think it's completely important for you to find a plan that's flexible and works for your budget. All right, everyone, so that's all that I have for you today. If you have questions, please go ahead and comment below and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. And if you like what you saw here today, go ahead and hit that like button below and I will see you all next week. Goodbye.